It's like, you know, it's a keep away game against the Decon, so if you can uh, if you can outzone him here, why not? But we'll see if EJJ allows that ha to happen. Getting the banana in hand to start. Yeah, I'm actually gen I I'm actually interested as to what the thought process here was from Justin JPEG for the Sephiroth. Diddy Kong kind of famously like gives a lot of trouble to sorties who want to space aerials on your shield. Because Ooh. once he has banana in hand, his effective out of shield range just becomes so much more threatening, even with a sword the length of Sephiroth's. You wanna know my conspiracy uh -oh. theory? What's that? I think that um Justin is going Sephiroth here, so because he's looking in the future. He's like, I have to play John Numbers, and I'm not whipping out the Rob to do that. I'm going Seph. So Ooh. I'm gonna play Seph into EJJ, so I'm like getting my getting my hands hot with oh this character, God. getting ready. What did it, I just witness? Justin died too? What did I just witness? Uh, mm. They seem a little confused too. <laughs> yeah, Justin taking a moment to collect himself on the platform. I'm just like, I thought I did that edge guard pretty well. Yeah. And then he suddenly wasn't. Yeah, like the barrels blew him up, but the whole point of the counter was to counter the barrels that blew him up. But yeah. maybe it had like an extended hitbox I guess. through <laughs> the, the counter. <laughs> the dust settled and they had both disintegrated. Yeah. Ooh, EJJ getting a little bit aggressive from the ledge. Running right into the scintilla. Oh my god. Great timing by Justin JPEG to punish that, uh, that banana toss. Yeah, and the counter coming out, punishing all these aggressive options from EJJ. Justin maybe saying like, hey, slow it down a bit. Stop running into me and start thinking about what you're doing. Ooh, monkey flip coming out, sends Justin to the ledge, but finds his way. A little reversal going on here. Yeah, Ooh. and instead, Justin playing very defensively here in this game one. Instead of, you know, going for that sort of classic sorty boxing, is just running away and just letting EJJ kind of you know, dig his own grave as he runs into these sword hitboxes. Yeah, absolutely, but we're looking at an almost even game here. One combo from EJJ could send this to a situation where it is, and Sephiroth is notoriously light for the back air coming out. Gonna take that stock from EJJ. Now, Justin, he could really run away with this if he plays it right. Yeah, even without one wing, that back air gonna be taking Ooh. that stock emphatically. Hey. Here is that one wing. Oh, Nair to back air. Oh, to the, the forward jump. air, you're not mm, dead. He's actually fine. But Justin going deep, but making it back. And hey, even though he didn't get the kill, he still racked up 77 damage. So not looking good for EJJ here, who has to find a kill. But, you know, with light Sephiroth, maybe uh, down tilt to up smash. We'll take, oh my god, that was a crazy. Almost found the shield break. Yeah, maybe trying to look for a jump out of the corner there from EJJ as Justin just go. flies his way over to the other side of the stage on the platform. And banana tech chase on platforms is terrifying because it's always going to confirm an up smash and you're that much closer to the blast zone, but it didn't really matter there. Justin was at like 133, so. But always just something to keep in mind. If you're on platform in a tech situation against Diddy Kong and there's a banana coming your way, say your prayers because you're cooked. Okay, here we go. J EJJ doing a good job staying in the game. Oh my gosh. Giga Flare coming out. He Try thinks it's Cloud. <laughs> oh, the yeah, up air. Yeah. I mean, with an up air that big that covers that much ground, the only thing you can do is time your air dodge. Yeah, nowhere for EJJ to run. Maybe, maybe could have monkey flipped out of the situation, but even then, the sweeping up air from Sephiroth is going to be catching EJJ. Justin JPEG now one game away from finding himself in a revenge scenario against John Numbers. Yeah, and EJJ deep in thought, going back to PS2. I love I love the stage run max sometimes. Mm -hmm. If you're getting like two stocked, maybe change the stage up, you know, help yourself out a little bit. But when you're in a game that's close like that and you know like hey, I'm on a pretty equal level with this guy and you oh, what what are we doing? Whoa. EJJ whoa, is whoa, doing whoa, some whoa, soul whoa. searching right now. And he finds his way home. No. Mm -hmm. cool. what's, what's the play? Hi, Hi. Justin. Hello. All right, now we, we do find our way home at the end of the day, the long road back to Diddy Kong. EJJ was, you couldn't see it on stream, but he was hovering over like Min Min. He was hovering over Sheik. Just really doing some soul searching here. But no, the tried and true Diddy Kong. It's feel like, like it, uh, when you go to the store, right? You're like, you leave your house. You're like, I am going to go buy this. Right, I'm, right. I've, I've had I've had this the too much, too much. 
And you go to the store and you're like, man, but I'm, re but I really like that. <laughs> and then you just leave with, this, with what you just had, and you're like, hmm, that's fine. I walked around the block. It's fine. <laughs> but like, all right, let me ask you this: if, like, let's say, okay. I'm lacking confidence in EJJ now because he was doing that. It's like maybe he did feel a little bit lost. Feels like he has to change it up and play someone else, right? And like, yeah, you find your way back to the Diddy Kong, but the thought of like, oh, maybe I should go Min Min. Like, maybe I should go Corrin. It's like, that doesn't inspire confidence. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely does kind of... You know, it, it shows a little bit of uh, some cracks in the mental mm. if you're like, oh, do I switch? I'm not in really sure. But, you know, I'm, I'm a believer in EJJ right now. Maybe wanting to believe in right. the Diddy Kong Ooh. that has, like, really carried him through this bracket tonight. Yeah. Because he, he's been playing hot tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Like, let's not discount it. He's in Losers yeah. Finals with solo Diddy Kong, right? So... But yeah, let's not discount it. But at the same time, if he went into that menu and he selected Min Min and he's like, I'm doing this, I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. But but the hovering and the thinking, I don't like it. I don't know if I would ever say hell yeah at someone picking Min Min on the character select screen. Okay, but. it's in context. There, <laughs> there's context, right? But here we go, Justin oh running God, away with it. Stabbed through the heart. <laughs> yeah, but not enough to find brutal. the kill. And Justin's to blame. Someone just let out the most cartoonish scream I've ever <laughs> heard in the background. It's like a Tom and Jerry scream. Yeah, for real. Ooh, that was crazy. But want to know what else is crazy? Uh, EJJ has to find a way to take this stock or else uh, just Justin could really run away with it. And that would be crazy. All right, this should there be a is. kill. Absolutely. Yeah. Octoslash on shield. EJJ with a lot of patience wasn't quite comfy in trying to handle Justin's planking. Yeah. Planking is such a funny Smash Bros term to me. Oh, the yeah. Giga Flare. By oh! That one threw me off too. The Giga Flare into the slightly charged neutral B from Seth, and that's gonna find the stock from EJJ. Yep, Mega Flare online. Justin now one stock away from finding himself in grands. Yeah. Ooh. And it's looking uh, oh, even, okay. except for the fact that EJJ is down one stop. So. <laughs> oh, the monkey flip through the counter. Awesome, because it's a command grab, so you're not going to trigger it. But hey, uh, EJJ stuck at ledge here. Justin's turned to ledge trap. Yeah, right. EJJ working out some counterplay to Justin's advantage here, but is it too little too late? Are we going to be able to see the momentum back in EJJ's favor to find himself a game three here? Justin just kind of throwing the banana away. Ooh. Down air on shield. Almost felt like a shield break, but not quite there yet. And with one wing online and banana in hand, that is just a, a character who is built different. Yeah, absolutely. But Justin fishing for a back air. And EJJ going to make him punish for it, finding that down tilt to up smash. And hey, this is really doable. You got to, we've seen EJJ combo from zero to 50. And then from there, you win like neutral twice. And then you find the banana and then you win the game. The the math is the the flow chart is there for EJJ. Oh, no, never mind. Three up airs in a row, unfortunately. EJJ, as soon as he spawned, the banana was back into Sephiroth's hands and that really felt like the final nail in the coffin just removing that that starter for ejj to really get the momentum back into his favor yeah absolutely and that justin was fishing for back airs a lot but he was doing a good job of keeping diddy kong out with diddy kong doesn't have any huge disjoints he's fast in the air he's fast on the ground but he's just got feet mm -hmm. so keeping him out with those back airs this was crazy it threw me i'm looking at the giga flare then there comes another <laughs> the one smoke screen yeah for real that was that was like pretty creative uh ledge trapping from justin yeah i actually really like the giga flare because yeah. it's it is uh like specifically covered up the charging animation for the mega flare yeah and then lastly to take it Trying to keep EJJ at ledge, finds one up air, finds two up airs, and then finds yeah. the third. Yeah, that's that's gonna do it. And then GG's and Justin JPEG gets his run back.